How's it going YouTube? Eric here with OneHive 2.0 bringing you another war cap to OneHive Labs. Today we're going to be looking at a war against Celestian Total, I believe is how you say their name. And they ended up not being too great of a challenge. They ended up, even with having 8 Town Hall 10s to our 3 Town Hall 10s, and one of our Town Hall 10s being a 9.5 without Infernos. And we ended up getting 18 3 stars, all of their Tunnel 9s, and one of their Tunnel 10s. And they ended up getting one lucky Tunnel, uh, sorry, one 3 star. What we're going to be looking at is an attack by Don Leon to start off. I'm going to go over a few attacks here and just pretty much explain a little bit about him. Right here, I liked this attack a lot because he ended up using a Shattered attack here with no king and still ended up getting out a really good chunk of the base his queen took out a lot and he ended up taking no free spells for either of these infernos without getting either of them down in the kill squad which I thought was really cool to watch what his queen does there is takes out both of the high health storage uh, gold storages right there and he creates a good funnel so he knows his queen is going to be going in the middle ends up taking out both those archer towers and takes out the queen very easily. The enemy had two witches in each of their CCs for the most part, and a lightning was taking out both of them with a wall placed, and that was a beautiful placed lightning spell by Don there. Ended up taking, I think, absolutely everything out in the CC. His queen ends up going for the first air defense, takes out the sweeper and an expo, as well as the other air defense, so he ends up getting two air defenses out of that opener with just his queen, which was great. Also the Town Hall, but that's not as important. He ends up getting a beautiful just moon drop here, or just overall, and a beautiful rage. He puts the rage so that he's gonna be his wounds are gonna be covered by the rage the entire time they go from Inferno to Expo to the second Inferno, which was just a great uh, just an absolute beautiful loon drop by Don there. He ends up getting both Infernos down within like five seconds of each other. And just completely destroyed this base. He ends up having almost a loon, not, or uh, sorry, a how not pop, but it ended up in pop, so that was great for him. And ends up having like 10, 12 loons at the end and absolutely destroyed the base, as you can see, completely running through it. So that was a great, really good shattered bow, the loon by Don, as always. What we're going to be looking at next is a go ho by Spiegel. I was looking at this base for a little while and I just didn't know exactly how I would have attacked it so I gotta give a shout out to Spiegel for doing a great job on that. It's really obscure base, it kinda it's nothing I've really seen before, it's kinda open around, he's got walls around some defenses that are just out in the open like that and he ends up using the looms there to pull the CC and take out both of the archer towers which was a great use of them. Ended up having the same thing in his CC too. Two witches, a couple archers, ended up taking the CC out with no problem other than it taking maybe a little longer than most CCs. But then he goes ahead and drops his golems, gets a really wide funnel. Great funnel, great golem placement. Ends up using a rage to help take out a good chunk of the base with his uh, kill squad. And ends up taking out the enemy queen really easily. Ends up doing a two giant three finger drop at the back end. Saves a few hogs just to help with the side. And a uh, heal spell for the quad tussles that were in the core. And just ends up completely running through the base. He ends up having like the, just a really wide variety of troops left. He ends up having barbs, wizards, witches, his golemite still, a few archers. Just ends up completely running through the base. So that was a beautiful attack by Spiegel as always. And what we're going to be looking at next is a, I think it is, a Loon Valk Golem attack, yep. So what Oki does here is drops a few Loons to take out that one Archer Tower, and I think it assists with slightly pulling the CC, but I don't know if it quite got all of it, we'll take a check here. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it got the whole CC. So it ends up taking the full CC out so he gets to deal with it out here rather than in the middle of it. 
And it ends up beating up his golem pretty bad there, but as soon as he drops his witches, it's going to be no problem. He ends up dropping another golem to help with the taken process and get to the center. One wizard to the left to make sure that he has the funnel wall. And then ends up dropping his six Valks, I believe it was, and a one jump spell. His Valks absolutely showed this base just because it's so bunched up together and has such good big compartments for Valks. We've been seeing a lot of great Valk attacks lately by a lot of the guys in one Hive 2.0. And he drops the Rage and Heal in the middle of the base. Takes out all of those air defenses really, really easily. Has both of his hero's abilities still. And then just drops his loons around the base. Still has a heal left that he probably doesn't even need to drop, but does anyway, just to assure the 3 star. Ends up dropping the king ability a little bit later. And ends up just having plenty of wizards for cleanup. up. Just a beautiful attack by Oki. And Oki's one of the new guys too. Just came over to 1 high 2.0. I believe this is was his second orb. So it's great to see him producing so highly right away. Great attack, Oki. So that pretty much wraps up this war recap. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate you guys watching the videos and helping us support. Please remember to just give us a quick thumbs up. It really helps the support of the channel, and so does subbing. So if you guys could do both of those, that'd be great for us. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.